day everyone! I'm Christine Palacio Ostos and I will be reporting the chapter 15 of Life and Works of Rizal which is Rizal's second sojourn in Paris and the Universal Exposition of 1889. So, Rizal's Exposition in 1889, World's Fair held in Paris, France in the 100th anniversary of the storming of Bastille and even traditionally considered as the symbol of the beginning of the French Revolution. So, the difficulty of finding quarters for a short time, Rizal lived in a house of his friends, Valentin Ventura, on 45 Rio Mauaget. So, he transferred this residence several times and finally, he lived together with two other Filipinos, which is Captain Hosto Trinidad and Jose Albert. So in life in Paris, he used most of his time on reading room of the Bibliothèque Nationale, living quarters, writing letters to his family and friends, the gymnasium for his daily physical exercises, and visiting his friends. So three Filipino society, Rizal founded was a Kidlat Club, which is among the members were Antonio and Juan Luna, Gregorio Aguilera, Fernando Canon, Laura Di Mayuga, Julio Llorente, Guillermo Poato, and Baldimero Rojas, which is to bring together the young Filipinos and French capital. So, the next one is the Indios and Bravos, its member pledge to excel in ex intellectual and physical prowess in order to win the admiration of the foreigners, particularly the Spaniards. They practiced with a great enthusiasm to use the word swords and pistols and also Rizal taught them judo. So lastly, the RDIM Society, which is Redemption de los Malay Malayos or the Redemption of the Malays. He only mentioned the secret society to first Jose Maria Basa and Marcelo H. del Pilar. So it was patterned after Fris Mansonari. Only few trusted friends of Rizal became members, which are Gregorio Aguilera, Jose Maria Baza, Julio Lorente, Marcelo H. del Perar, Mariano Ponce, Baldemero Rojas, and Father Jose Mar Maria Canco, which is a Filipino priest. And the aim of it was to the propagation of all useful knowledge, scientific, artistic, literary, and etc. in the Philippines and redemption of Malay race. So, Rizal's writing to Blumenfried from Hong Kong revealed his intention to the leader of freedom if the Philippines then in the other lands. So, the provision of the Bornean colonization was first the right of the colonists to buy the lands, the second was the free use of the seashores, and the unusual long term of at least for 999 years, a period of time long enough for many generations to form nation and to consolidate its status. So the annotated edition of Morgas published was Results Outstanding Achievement in 1890. He wrote in British Museum, it was printed by the Garner Fred Press, the Professor Blumentritt wrote the prologue and the results error were Appraising the events of the past in the light of present standards and the attacks of the church were unfair and unjustified because of the abuses of priors should not be construed to mean that Catholicism is bad. Results published Morgas Sosesos, Best of Many Histories of the Philippines, written by the early Spanish writers. Dedicated new edition of Morga to the Filipino people to know their glorious past, which is to the Filipinos as entitled. So, proof that Filipinos were already civilized before the advent of Spain. So, the comment of Morgas' publication date were in Paris, Libreria de Garnier Hermanos, in 1890, the title page of Rizal's annotated edition of Morga. So, documentary evidence to show that Rizal's edition of Morga must have come off the press in 1889, not in 1890. So, the three letters were on October 12, 1889, Blumentritt received the edition in Let Me Rest. So, the second one is in December 28, 1889, Rizal sent copies to Dr. Baldemero Rojas from Paris to Lipa. And lastly, the December 31, in 1889, Mariano Ponce received the book 
incontrovertible proofs that Morgus Sosisos came off the press in 1889. So, Rizal is an historian, Rizal's research studies in British Museum in London and in the Bibliothèque Nationale in Paris enrich his historical knowledge his knowledge of foreigner language enabled Rizal to read historical documents, which are Feta's famous first voyage around the world, which is Italian, works of Marston, Raffles, and Lord Stanley, and Waylands, which is English, and the writings of Blomentritt, German, which with Jagor and Virtue, and the historical commentaries, which qualify Rizal to be a real historian. So, Mayi and December 6, 1888, and Tawalesi of IBN Batuta, Batuta in January 7, 1889, both written in London. So, Philippines within a century. In this article, he expressed his views and Spanish colonization, the Philippines, and he predicted the amazing accuracy, the tragic, and Spanish sovereignty of the the parts of it was, in the beginning, the glorious past of the Filipino people. In the middle, the economic stagnation and happiness under the harsh Spanish rule. The last one is the period into the future and warned Spanish of what would happen to her colon colonial empire in Asia if she would not adapt a more liberal and enlightened policy towards the Philippines. So, the indolence of the Filipinos was defended of the alleged indolence of the Filipinos. Critically, study of the causes why the Filipinos did not work hard during the Spanish regime. So the main thesis was the Filipinos are not by nature in the land. The 10 cases of decline in economic life was the native revolts and other internal disorders, the wars which the Filipinos fought from Spain, the Dutchess, the Portuguese, the English, and etc. So the raids of coastal town and village by the Muslim pirates of Mindanao and Sulu, the forced labor, the lack of stimulus to work harder, which people could not enjoy the fruits of their labor. I mean the labor. So the government neglect and indifference, agriculture, industry, and commerce. The bad example shown by the Spaniard, despising manual labor, teaching of Spanish missionaries, gambling, system of Spanish education. The international Filipinologist in the Universal Exposition of 1889 in Paris, the letter to Blumentrand in January 4, 14 in 1889, the prospectus aim of the association to study the Philippines from the scientific and historical view. And the officers were the president, which is Ferdinand Blumentrand, an Australian, Vice President Mr. Edmund Plachet, a French, and the counselors were Dr. Rainfold Ross, the Anglo German, and Dr. Antonia Maria Regidor, a Filipino Spanish. And lastly, the secretary, Dr. Jose Rizal, which is a pure Filipino. On August 18, 1889, in Paris, scheduled holding of in a Eurogal convention, re owned scholarship in Europe, Dr. Reynold Ross, Dr. Henry Yule, Dr. Fedor Jagor, Dr. A.B. Mayer, Dr. H. Kern, and Dr. Zipelak, and with a project of the Filipino Project College in Hong Kong, planned by Rizal while he is still staying in Paris to establish modern college in Hong Kong to aim to train and educate men to be good in family and financial means in accordance with the demands of modern times and circumstances. So, Mr. Mariano Cunanan, a Mexico in Pampanga, had 40,000 pesos as an initial capital. So, the curriculum subjects were ethics, religion, natural law, civil law, deportment, hygiene, mathematics, physical and chemistry, natural history, and geography. Also, political economy, universal history, Philippine history, logic, rhetoric, and theotics, and Spanish, English, French, German, Chinese, and Tagalog. So, there are also gymnastics, equitation, fencing, swimming, music, drawing, and dancing. So, the por teléfono, La Vision de Fray Rodriguez or Fray Jose Rodriguez por teléfono in Barcelona, 1889. 
Father Salvador Font Baining and Bunning of the Nole Dimas Alang and also the telephone conversation between Father Font A. Madrid and the Father Provincial San Agustin Convention in Manila so the Christmas in Paris with Jose Albert Capitan Hosto Trinidad with a Christmas dinner of fried chicken and rice and vegetables, results last Christmas dinner in Paris with after a New Year brief visit to London with a known purpose. So the two theoretical reasons was to check out of his annotated edition of Morgan's successors with the original copy in the British Museum and to see Gertrude Beckett for the last time. In the middle of January 1890, back in Paris. So that's all. Thank you and good day.